It is a beautiful, bright and sunny day in Winnipeg today. And as you can see, we still have our snow. Now if you will recall, yesterday we were looking at this piece here, which still has that little piece of dust on it that I haven't got off. Well, we'll get that off of there. But I can well imagine that by now the CA glue has more than set on here, more than cured on here. In fact, with CA glue, it's sort of been my experience that the older it gets, the more brittle it gets. Uh, I'll put the macro lens on and we'll move right in and then we'll release this. I haven't actually released it yet. I almost did right now and then I realized, oh no, you're going to want to see it. Maybe if I put it on the green cloth, I'll be able to sort of roll it over. Right now, it wants to slide around on this thing. Now, if you will recall, some of this uh, grill work had broken. And I thought that I had done that. But I was realizing afterwards that uh, that I didn't. I didn't break it. It, it was... Uh, in other words, where, where these pieces came across, they they weren't uh, joined onto this this bar here that I'm. Where do I get the other pointer? Okay, the, this bar right here, they hadn't been joined on there, and they just sort of came away from it when I was bending the uh, the photo etch piece. I didn't actually break them off. Anyway, it's. I don't know if I can straighten these out or not. Like this, this, this one here has to go a little bit towards you. And the other one, it has to go away. Maybe I need, if I re resharpen uh, Mr. T's pointing device here, I can I can poke in there, and if I can, and my thinking is that if I can get them straightened out before I, I paint, it could be that the paint will sort of glue them onto this onto this bar right here. Anyway, let's just turn this over here. I probably spend a way too much time doing this sort of thing. Now, I, it might not be a good idea to be manipulating this around face down on the on the cloth because, <clears throat> excuse me, the uh, those little broken pieces could maybe dig in. Okay, I, I think this is going to hold together okay. Now, let me turn it over here again. Now you can see on on the back here where this piece that we're going to be bending now is going to be fitting in there and gluing on. I, I can't think of what else this could be for unless it was supposed to have been the other way around. Uh, but I, And uh, it was supposed to be, be what you would sort of see through the grill work here. Um, that doesn't make sense either. So, uh, yeah, let's let's just uh, work with that other piece of photo etch now and see if we can get this piece glued together and then glued onto the plastic part.
No, I'm quite pleased at the way Andy's little photo etch bender here is acting like a micro vice. Just got to be careful here. I just want to squeeze this down here just just a little bit so that it it's going to hold when I tilt it up like this and get it get this parallel or at uh, perpendicular rather to the uh, surface of the lens because I'm planning on using the super macro here and I've got this thing sharpened and dangerously sharp right now again not quite as pointed as it was before but it's I think it's probably pretty sharp here gonna have to be careful with it Now, normally, when I try to do something like this, I'm, I'm actually viewing in the monitor right now because it is, it is just too small, even with my magnification hood. Now, my thinking is that if I could... Uh, I can't tell depth, unfortunately. Now, you can see where I want to try and fix, move these first, first three over just to the right just a little bit here but whoops I just I just can't see depth so I don't know how far how deep I'm going you know what my microscope would work a lot better for this uh, I don't know if I can hook the macro lens in and uh, and we can do it with a microscope. Now, I know there's people just hate it when I do stuff like this. But you know, guys, I got to do what's of interest to me. And if it's not of interest to you, well, I'm just going to have to put up with a lot more dislikes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's the way it goes. This is my show. <laughs> Okay, now I can see depth. I can also see I've got a fluffy on the end of my... What, what is that anyway? Let me get that off of there. Okay, now these first, first three on the right here, they are slightly bent. See if I can straighten them out. Now this one here has to go down just slightly. I'm able to rest my uh, pointing device on uh, Andy's photo etch bender here and it's acting as a steady rest so it's working out pretty good. Okay, now, it would be nice if I could just push these down just, just slightly. Oh, did I mention I, I was not able to conveniently get the super macro, you know, in place there? I, I think I pretty much got those. All right, now, now what I want to do is I want to take the uh, clear coat and use it as a glue. And the idea will be, let's see if I can get my little brush down in here now. Oh my goodness, that brush looks huge. And this is my smallest one. I, I, I think I can probably just put a little bit of clear coat along there and, and it'll sort of glue this together. At least that's the plan. Whoa, I got dirt on it. Okay, there, I got it off. I don't know. I might have been better off to do the same thing with uh, 
with the CA glue because this is not really well it's it's kind of kind of working there see so there's these three and this one over here and I just I like to sort of get it kind of globbed on there Yeah, I do believe I kind of got it. it from in the microscope I can see where the ends do seem to have a connection this is to push it down just a little bit okay I, I think that's probably gonna act as a glue it'll help anyway and then I'll just have to be super careful with this now now you remember about a week ago we got a email from Sunward Hobbies and they were sent out a little survey questionnaire type thing and I'm supposed to rate this uh, quick setting to me a extra thin cement well I'm not supposed to but they asked if I would and uh, I hadn't even tried hadn't even tried it or I don't think I even opened it up and smelled it <laughs> um, but I wanted to try it out Well, we did try it out. Okay, and it was uh, it was this one right here. Oh, pardon me, it's upside down. It was this one right here, and uh, yeah, I, I would. I don't know. I I can't really give it just four stars because there has to be in my mind something wrong with it for me to give it four stars, and I can't think of anything that's wrong with it. Um, you know, if it had if it had the Hork and Big applicator in there, like uh, uh, like this one has, then I might, I might be a little bit upset. Like the applicator that's in there is way too big. Anyway, uh, I, I would have to give it five stars. Now I, I realize that, like I said before, this uh, giving it five stars or whatever, it's a marketing ploy, and I got a feeling that when I click on whatever star it's going to want me to take a survey I don't think it's going to uh, you know say thank you uh, uh, for your for your opinion or anything like that I think it's going to just sort of lead you on and on and on the idea is it's like I say it's probably a marketing ploy well we'll soon find out I haven't tried it yet maybe I'll take you along with me when we do um, anyway I, I'll probably I'll probably see what happens I'm going to give it five stars well here we are and I don't know if you can see my little uh, cursor here but here's our five stars you've recently bought to me extra thin cement quick setting what do you think about it well one two three four here we go let's see what happens you've recently bought uh, Okay, just like I expected. What was your overall experience with this item? T title of review. You know what? This is just way too complicated. Publish your review. Um, well, it's a case of it didn't want how many stars. Um, five stars? Yeah, yeah they, they want me to give a review. Publish your review. I, I just don't want to go that route. I'm I'm sorry, Sunward Hobbies, but this is just too complicated. If it was just a case of, you know, give it five stars and be done with it, yeah, but th I got a feeling this is going to go on and on and on and on. Um, <laughs> okay, we tried. Now we're back to this piece, back to where we were yesterday. You know, I never did get rid of that fluffy, did I? There we go. See, something like that. I don't uh, 
necessarily see with my with my eye when I'm painting and then it, I paint it on and afterwards I wonder why the paint job is so rough okay I had that backed off a long way didn't I okay I'll slip the macro lens on oh I never scrape this off either. Sorry Andy, I scratched your photo which bender worse than before. Okay, I'll just put the macro lens on and we'll move this into the right place and bend it out. Okay, this number 18 blade is not very sharp but I think it'll probably work. I don't have any uh, uh, CA solvent. Well, I do have uh, uh, what's that real strong stuff? This is uh, isopropyl. Isopropyl 99 percent here. Okay. I think we pretty much got it here. Now, we want to bend it uh, at that joint, that joint, that joint, and that joint. And that's the only places we want to bend it. Hope I'm not getting my fingers in your way here and you can't see what's happening. I'm not watching the monitor, maybe I should be. Okay, I do believe we got the the bend started. Now, as far as this one goes, maybe what I'll do is I'll just put it into where I think it's supposed to go. And I'll, I'll just get the the bend started, and then finish it up. Now maybe it should go in just a little bit more here. I'm looking straight down on it, and I can see it a little better than you can. You're coming in at a 45 degree angle, so now we'll just very very. Just a little bit here until until this part. Oops. I have to be careful I don't go down too hard because if I do, it's going crooked on me here, isn't it? Here we go. Okay, now we're underneath. Okay, we'll just just go up enough now until the until it touches there like that. There. Now I was uh, cranked down on it pretty hard. I hope I didn't damage anything. Uh, looks alright. Now, where's my other tweezers? Okay. Now, I'm 
Now, when do you remember yesterday I was saying that, you know, a person has a, the, a tendency to think, well, why don't you just, you know, put something, well, even this is too wide. You know, you, you could think, well, why don't you just put something down and hold it like this and then and then fold the other end up. But it may possibly not bend where it's supposed to. So, um, good thing I can cut out the dead spots. Now, so I've got to keep an eye on it. Does it look like it's bending in the wrong place? No, I think it's going to be all right. Okay, we'll use Mr. T's pointing device here and keep an eye on it. Is it bending in the right place? Yeah, this seems to be. But it seems to have doesn't want to go the rest of the way. You know, it's, oh, it all of a sudden got really tight there. Well, let's let's try the other one. Yeah, it just all of a sudden I can almost feel it bind. Well, I'm going to have to do this off camera, folks. I have to pick it up and get it close to my face here. But we got these we got these uh, sides good. Okay, we kind of got it. It could possibly be uh, more squeezed together a little bit in some places, but I, I think if I can figure out a way here uh, of holding it, I don't know if I can use uh, Andy's bender here as a as a vise again or not. Lay it on its side here. Just. Uh, no, I think I'm going to have to. I think I'm going to have to probably bend, keep bending at it until I finally get it just right, and then just run a, a, a bead of a bead of glue along each each of the four corners. At least that's the plan. Now, I don't want to squeeze too hard. I think that'll stay on. Let's get everything adjusted here now. Now, the idea is we want to be able to put a little bit of CA on each one of these four corners here. Okay. Okay, we'll do this end first. Now, this CA that I've got here is actually. It's yesterday's uh, CA thin, but I believe it's thickened up a little bit here. Now I, I think it's probably going to stay in the crack. Now this side here. You can probably see it better than I can if it's if it seems to be staying in the crack. I, I think it is. Okay, I'll turn it around and we'll do the other end the same way. Okay, I was just looking in the monitor and it almost looks like this could be squeezed together just a little 
a little more here. Probably going to have to readjust here. Undoubtedly I'll be moving it out of your field of view. This doesn't want to stay in place, does it? Well, I think it'll be okay. I'm just, I just wanted to shut the camera off here and, and uh, refocus. Okay, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was. Okay, let's redo this now. that cure and then maybe we'll have time yet this afternoon to glue this part onto the other piece. Okay, I think it's cured. I did blow on it with my with my breath through that tube like I often do. Okay, let's see if we can get this turned over now without uh, damaging anything here. Should be able to grab it from the back. Now, this is the first time I'm trying this. Looks like it's going to fit pretty good. Okay, I'm going to just reposition a little bit here. And we'll take the, take this off. And I'm just going to put a little bit of CA on there, and then just drop this. I'm just doing a dry run here. Yeah, that should work. Okay, now I hope this little part is not going to stick to the applicator. I don't think we need any more than that. Now very gently here. Does that look straight to you? Could it have gone maybe a tiny bit to the to the left? I'm looking straight down on it. It looks straight from the standpoint of being in line, but it seems like maybe it should have gone slightly to the left. Maybe if I uh, use Tony's tweezer here to hold it down so it doesn't move away. Whoops. Otherwise, when I try to slide it, it's going to push it away. Oh, you know what? It's starting to cure. Yeah, it's, it's starting to cure. Well, let's leave that, folks. Uh, I think I've probably taken quite a bit of video here. I've got a lot of editing to do. Thanks for watching, everybody. And all being well, we'll see you tomorrow.